What's up, baby? Oh, God! <laughs> I'm Max and I'm gonna cut that out, because that's actually a funny intro. What's up, everybody? Mr. Vocaloid back for another episode of Persona. Uh, Road to Persona 5, Persona 1. It's been a while since I did this. Uh, if you're wondering why, check out uh, Pokemon episode 11 when I explain why I was sick. Anyway, in the last episode, we took down the boss and we, we ran into that girl again who said she didn't want us to mess with Kendori. But now that we have cleared the subway, we are going to push through and try to go and foil Kendori's plan. So let's see what everybody has to say. <clears throat> Phew, glad that monster's gone. Me too. The demon that was here before mentioned its master. Did it mean Aki or? All right, let's go back topside and look for Kendori. That Aki is so full of herself. I'll give her a good scolding next time. Sure you will. So do I take the subway system? Because I just cleared it up. Ah, it seems collapsed. I guess like, oh, let's follow Mark's advice and go back topside. Oh wait, is this a new area? Yeah, this is, this is a new place. Totally a new place, because I did not check this out last time. There's a way to open up a map that I did the last episode. How to do it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so this is completely new. Let's continue. Okay, so we got a floor trap over there. Moving through these tunnels. Battle of the video! First battle of the video. And, uh, you guys didn't see it, but I had to fight the boss again. Because that's, uh, if you're wondering why the last episode has such an abrupt and weird looking end to it. I didn't really know how to describe that. I was going to say end to it. But a weird end to it is because, the, uh, again, the monitor, uh, not the monitor. My monitor crashed. I'm not here to do anything. I'd be upset. If, um, the driver crashed mid-recording, thankfully it was at the end. So, yeah. I just ended the episode early so it didn't look like anything happened. But I fought the boss again off screen and had a... A way shorter time than when I actually recorded it. Kind of nuts. So we got next. We got one, one frozen and one paralyzed. They they all resist. Uh, almost everybody's attack except for ice. So this should knock them out right here. But Fufu, uh, you can rapid fire again. I I don't really want to use gentle wave because it won't hit all of them. They're not close enough to hit all of them. So I rather just have rapid fire with a solid damage. Bang bang! Mmm, what I tell you? Solid damage. And clap! How are you still alive? Yeah, you should die this turn. Literally taking over 200 points of damage. There we go. Yeah! Browns is on the leveled up. Nice, nice. We're gonna keep moving through here. That's a dead end. I can see it from right here. Bum, bum. I feel like this is an automatic moving floor. Oh, uh, the effects of the Thoma uh, worn off. <laughs> Excuse me. This is eight. Got a little bit of hiccups. Oh my god! Well, looks like that was the way to go. It's weird, I just said, oh, that's probably moving tiles right there, and the, f the way I chose had moving tiles on it. And we've made it to the other side of town through the subway entrance. And I'm not gonna cut this battle, because I fr Whoa. These are some weird looking dog fox. These strike, do you know what these look like? These look like, um, you ever seen that episode of Curse the Cowley Dog where the god chick comes down and thinks, uh, Curse is her dog? I, that's exactly what they, that they remind me of. These things don't like anything. I'm just gonna quit while I'm ahead. I'm gonna go over somebody else. Try to joke. Oh, they're, they're all angry. God, I don't want you anywhere. I'm just gonna kill him. Sponges. Freaking buttholes. Alright. Mabufu, rapid fire all of them. Nandra, you attack. Let's try a. I'm gonna see if they're weak to physical. Try a fury stab. Oh yeah, and Brown is uh. Timmy is. Can't do anything. So. Pop, 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 pop! Alright, so you're weak to ice. You're blue, so I have a feeling you're not. Oh, never mind. You are weak, exactly weak to ice. Your color would say otherwise, but never mind. Take normal damage. Fury Stabber! Jeez, you got a lot of. You get a lot of. You get into, uh, getting to enemies with a lot of HP. Like, they can take some hits. We're not even like doing like little damage, we're doing D 
decent damage. And pop. There we go. Plus, over 100 a pop. I did. So I guess we're going to start running enemies like 500 health each. Persona! Jesus! Why won't you die? How strong are these things? They're buff. This is swole. Uh, I'm gonna attack it. Let's see what this does. Alright, let's kill the two in the front. And this should kill the guy right there. And yeah. Where are we get? Alright. Maki leveled up. Nice. 26. Vitality, dexterity, agility increased. Alright, moving on. What is this? Okay, it's a black market. Good, I actually need to, I actually want to stop stop at a market. But yo, black market? Yo, they better have weapons. Judgment 1999. Whoa, I like the sound I like the name of this one. Arcade? Video dice game, what you what you like what will you do? See explanations. Who is the game? About the dice game. In the game, two dice are rolled on screen and you predict the outcome. You got coins and possible outcomes of rolls. Okay. So we gambling. Let's go. I think I got a few coins. How much I got? I'm gonna bet ten. Oh I don't got I don't have any. Never mind. And I don't feel like wasting my money on it. Oh, I want to talk to that guy. He looks interesting. Sometimes I, I see a, a little girl in the black at this black market. I hate to think of a helpless little girl trapped in here too. Yeah, she ain't helpless. This showgirl, customer. She looks like she works here. You're not what? You're not what? You're not wearing any moles. Do you just get what? Do you get it? Fashion right now is follow the queen's example. Wow, that's that's original. That's, that's, Unmarked room with a saving tree. I kind of does that kind of defeat the purpose. The queen is resting. Her orders are not to let anybody through. Come back to our dark zone. Okay. Well, it doesn't that kind of oh, found a rev, uh, found a velvet room. But doesn't that kind what is it you desire? Isn't it kind of weird? And out of place that there's a saving tree here, one outside. So we got Neko, Mata, and Siren. What do they make? Anubis. Yo! Anubis! Yo! That's crazy! Yo, I make a special persona. I think we need those for, for a specific zone. Chain persona within order. Uh, that's what all these do. So I'm gonna see if I can find something else uh, with a better effect. Random effect. What's that? Teaches skill. Teaches skill. Teaches skill. Oh! We can make him learn light a light blast, a wind attack. Holy crap! Okay, I'm starting. I'm starting to learn. I'm guess I don't know what this skill would teach. Uh, equipment. What does it do? So, so feeding your persona equipment with strike strengthen up their specific attributes. Giving them specific item, give them a random effect or a skill. Cards you can't do it, and these will change the persona with it within order. I don't know what that means. But Anubis is too cool to try and. Go and test it. So I'm just gonna teach him a skill. What does it turn into? Uh, what does this do? Sacrifices life to fully heal party. Whoa! That's crazy. Uh, drum roll punch, random damage. It, whoa. Okay, I'm not too fond of that. Restores persona charge ability. Heavy curse damage. Uh, he's got good magic defense and great magic attack. And he's only ranked number one, so he will get more moves. But I want to see what happens if I choose something else. What kind of, uh, say, Magaru. Oh, that one didn't add on a, a move. So, yeah, I'm going to add on one of these. I'm going to give him, uh, um, we have somebody with Blast. We don't have anybody with Wind. So, I'm going to give him, uh, this so he can learn Magaru. I summon the Anubis. Result of Persona is Temperance Anubis. Please take care of it. Oh yeah. That's not for us though. I'm afraid you're out of cards. I think that's what you said. Let's skip it. I'm sorry. Uh, what? Leave. What you said? Well then, farewell. Oh, I didn't sign it. 
I forgot. I almost forgot that we had to do that. That's probably what he told me. Take on a persona. I am I am not gonna take him on. I'm actually gonna give him to somebody else. Uh you're good. You might need Anubis. Cause she's doing good on her own, even though her thing's maxed out. And yours is maxed out, but you can also use a magic attack. Oh, you can't even uh, get Anubis. Stocked 32 level one. Okay, what's the problem? Can only specific people get Anubis? Oh, that's the level we have to be to get Anubis? 32? Why did I make it so good? I made a too good Persona and I can't even use it. Yeah, he's level 32. God damn it. Well, he's in the reserve for when we when we eventually reach that level. Ah, man, all that hype for nothing. Uh, this should be the weapon store? Oh, no, no, it's the queen here. There should be a weapon store around here somewhere. What's this? But this looks like a doctor. I can see with a red cross on it. That's the way out. Rose, Canada. Canada? No. Candia. Candia. What the? So this is a clothes shop. So I'm guessing this is armor. Uh, where is the clerk? There he is. Yo. Would you like to become beautiful and strong like the queen with our weapons? Oh, you're the weapon store. Whoa. Crazy gas mask, man. Freaking hell gas up here. So you sell helmets and... Okay, you sell guard shoes and helmets. So let's see. This gives you plus two agility, plus three luck, plus five luck only. And this gives you plus three vitality, plus three luck. I'm gonna buy th four of these. Golden armor, plus one strength, plus, uh, plus one everything, plus five vitality, plus three vitality, plus three luck. Okay, this is Maki only, so I only have to buy one. And all of us, we will just, all the dudes can rock out with the parade armor. Fine with that. Uh, handbrow gauntlet. Plus one strength, plus three, plus three vat, plus one dex. Alright. Plus five dex only. You know what? Okay, so this is female only. I'm gonna give Maki the... This gauntlet. And I don't think those guys, uh, Brown and Mark have gauntlets at all. So I think they need them. And we really bought a lot of stuff. I think we need to sell stuff. Okay, let's see. What do we have to sell? Well, none of this stuff. All this, all this is actually useful. We are not... Damn, I wish I could see if somebody was equipping it. Uh, we don't have anything else to sell, so... I'm gonna have to go with this as it is. I spent all my money on armor, not even weapons. Oh, well. But, uh, let's go. Uh, where's my equipment? Equipment. Alright, so we bought a helmet. The QQ. What? That's what we had already? So we had it already. I'm gonna sell that back. Uh, but we did buy the parade armor and the parade guard. I didn't buy shoes. So I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna sell back one of the QQ. Everybody has a QQ helmet. Why did I buy those? It's a waste of money. So it looks like I'm selling all the QQ helmets back. Yo! I made a bad purchase. Right, I'm gonna sell these back. Alright, where's equipment? Alright, where's my helmet? Helmet, helmet, helmet. I got four of these. No, oh no, wait, what? Daybreak helmet. Wow, I bought four of those, but it's only for females. Okay, I, I didn't realize that until I started looking at the other stuff that it said female only. So I guess Maki's the only one getting a new helmet. Equipment. Maki. Daybreak helmet. And I'm gonna give you your Daybreak armor. And you had your I think it's your yep. The Hamgari gauntlet. Uh, let's give everybody else their stuff. Great armor. Hope I gave him school uniform. I dropped this hat. Parade armor, parade guard. I didn't buy any shoes. I don't know the one. Oh wait, I didn't buy enough. Well, I might as well just give them the stronger one. Give them the Bro, I can just give them the guards that they didn't give them. And I didn't buy enough vests. 
Well, doesn't matter. Screw it. We bought all we could. We'll be back here anyway. It's not like I'm coming back. Never come back here again. But, so let's see. This is the weapon shop. No, this is an oriental shop. Uh, what do you sell? Sim and dude. Oh, she trades. Trade items. Huh. You traded an opal and a turquoise for a disc stone. Uh, life soul stone. All of these seem not that really good. What does incense do? Okay, these are things that boost stats. And they take a lot more to synthesize. Or trade. Not synthesize. We ain't making them. We trade for them. Come on, which one is the weapon store? What is this place? Oh, this is the farmer store. I actually want to buy some stuff. Oh, wait. So, I understand why now. His, his, his uh, mascot is the frog. So, the frog guy must work for him. I'm going to buy some beads. Because I used them up. Listen to this. Like... Look at this Japanese music, like clerk music. Okay, we're done with that. <laughs> but I just sat there listening the whole time. Uh, come on, this has got to be the weapon shop. I saw a sword. I saw a sword. Frogman! What is up, frog dude? So in the black market, you sell weapons. Oh, you sell guns. You specifically sell guns. And they are super duper expensive. I'm gonna have to grind for money. And the weapon store is over there. So let me just go into it to get it out of here. Peace Diner. Whoa! Uh. Man, what was this doom and gloom? This place could use some brightening up. What's going on here? Pink Afro Man. Hey, it looks like we got some fresh faces. I bet they're clueless. Yes, it's straight. Oh no, that was the same dude. <laughs> we must make you. We must look sad to you, huh? Yup, the harem queens are our only salvation. Huh? <laughs> Full house. Oh, they're playing cards. Okay, I get it. Orange Afro man. That's a, a woman. But say orange Afro. That's I was about to say. That's a man. See here, I'm the. See here, I'm what you'll end end up as. You understand sooner or later. What? That did not sound too kind. Afro drunk. Huh? Oh, you guys from outside pissing me off. I remember now. I remember the outside. What a go outside. Oh, that dude is, that dude's toe up. The bartender. Master? She just said bartender. Now, now, everyone. Let's all toast each other with our heads held high. We, sh we share a fate. What's the use of this bickering? Now, so long as we, what, where we loyally serve our harem queen. What is that person? Who is that? Thickness over here. Downcast woman. A ela labyrinth of sadness forgotten in the ob what? oblique of time. Only alcohol does my, does my suffering. Damn it, this freaking bitch. She took all the decent looking men. I want to go, go to the harem too. What? That's messed up. But she looks like a performer, like a burlesque dancer, or somebody you would see. Oh, oh fuck, I agree. I'm sorry. I didn't think it would actually talk. I was just mashing next and thinking about the lady. Masio, all right, let's go meet this queen. We can ask her to let us out of here. So we gotta go talk to the harem queen. Yeah, so we weren't supposed to look at the Kendori, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm stuffed in side quest, man. So I'm side quest place, whatever. This place is closed. I think the velvet room might have bought it out. That's what I was expecting. Of. Well then, we found a labyrinth of sorts. Pre Preemptive strike. All right then, that Maki le persona leveled up. Well, not a persona. It's a persona level. So I guess that's the level what you can hold personas or something. Like that? What is it? It's a false wall and trap door. All right. Round leveled up. They are giving good experience for our levels too. So I appreciate that. Well, we fell all the way to floor three. We didn't even take the elevator. Uh, I had a feeling that was a false wall, but it wasn't. Now it just looks stupid. How long is this place? But the queen must be at the bottom. But we got a choice. Uh, I'm gonna go right. Made it! Yep, right choice. I think. 
Alright, that took a little bit longer than it needed to just to kill a couple toilets. But I am gonna heal up my squad a little more. Heal me, me myself up. I'm kinda the only one who took major damage in that battle. Alright, moving on. I'm getting a bit of the yard on and I don't like it. Ah, uh, there we go. Got a trap door over here. Fall through. It's just, it's, I guess it's just a way to get down without using the elevator. Well, finally, he's dead. All right, Mark's persona level one up, and Nanjo took some serious damage. So I'm gonna heal that up. I'm gonna heal up while I'm at it. <laughs> I'm done. I'm moving on. This labyrinth is very confusing indeed. Trap door, sink, sinkhole. Yo, you know it'd be trippy if you weren't dropping floors. You were literally just dropping around the same level. Maki is literally my MVP. She's just carrying the team when everybody else is getting like confused and everything and status ailment to hell. She's in the back chilling, doing mad damage. Maki carrying the team. Oh, that was retarded. Um, it's a, it's official. It is official. Look at my look at my health on that. That's how long it took. And it is official that enemies with charm moves are the most annoying in the game. It is official. But now I know the weakness of those bastards. I can kill them as soon as I freaking see them. Alright, I found a door. What's in here? Some treasure chests. Good. Got a turquoise. Oh, a mal malachite? Hey, that's the universe thing. No, no. Actual stone. It's malachite? Yep, malachite. And we got a topaz, so there's some stones in here. Uh, let's go down this hallway. Trap door right there. Nope, nope, nope. That's all. Nope, 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 no, no. Nope, nope. That's all I'm gonna say on that. On that battle or whatever. That's all I'm gonna say on that. Nope. And there's another room coming up ahead. Okay, this gotta be the main. One of these gotta be the main room. Or saving tree. Alright, this should be a velvet room if I'm not mistaken. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was manageable. That's the thing. The other one the other stuff, the other stuff with the freaking uh ravens with the charm, that's retarded, not manageable. That's the problem with that. Uh that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a chewing soul. There you go. Alright. It's a velvet room? No no. Oh, it's a health station. Though I am not in the mood, I just feel healed my own help. I do not need to pay. No, thank you, though. Right, I'm gonna move down, go down the stairs. Right, basement floor eight. It's gotta be the last floor. We gotta be coming up on a home stretch. Yep, there's a room over there that looks important. And the spiral staircase is the indication. Okay, that took a little bit of doing, but that was alright. And we are actually getting good XP off these guys, which is making all of these. Really long battles worth it. Good, cause you guys won't see him. I only, I'm only gonna look at him. Well, we gotta be running towards the end of this. What the fuck? Or a dead end. Or a dead end. Go upstairs. A battle less d done in less than five minutes. Finally. Right, come on, gonna go back upstairs. I don't see where to go from here. I think I'm gonna go. Wait, I can go up upstairs from here. This is where I was before. Wait, this is, I can keep going downstairs right there. Yes! I got through a Raven's encounter without freaking being annoyed to all hell. I'm actually gonna go down these stairs. So I move I went down there last time. Move. So yeah, this should be something over here now. Where are we? Treasure room! Two chewing souls, a life stone, and a revival bead. Not too shabby, not too shabby. See if we can find the way we gotta go. Alright. Leveled up, good. These things are getting, these fights are getting a little bit more trying more and more farther we keep going. Good thing I don't need it, but they certainly do. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. All right. All right. I'm going to explore the rest of this floor and maybe one more. I think I might end the episode off. This is starting to go on a little too long. Or I'm just gonna cut to where I find it.
Hey, fine, fine. Okay. Moving on. Trap, trapway, trapway though, trapway though, right there. <laughs> Alright, found a trapway. Okay, we're in a different part. What the hell was that? Okay, we're on the opposite side. Right, we're on the opposite side of the stairwell. I think we're gonna go in the right direction. Fuck, I've been here before. Fuck, I'm back down here. Okay, I fled from that battle. But, guys, I think we're running a little wrong with this labyrinth. And I think we might want to continue it in the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for checking it out. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with everybody you know. And in the next episode, Kama's Palace will be taking on and finding the queen herself. And hopefully fighting her when I finally make my way through this freaking place. Don't worry. Next time, I will find the way. I will find uh, the way before the next episode and just be at the boss. Hopefully, and we can get through all this. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.